Nava, hello. Please give an introduction about yourself. Yeah, thanks, Rogas. So I'm Neva. I've been running a small business. I sell a service. Nothing, no products or anything, just a service. Uh, I work locally here in my country. And uh, I found the real world and uh, started to started to reach reach new heights and uh, find find more, more income streams. Okay. And how did you find out about the real world? I I came across it on social media. I think it was an advertisement. I didn't didn't know anything about it about it in, in now three three four months ago. So I started to look into it. I, I think it was say uh, two weeks since uh, before I made the decision to buy it. And uh, first first page I landed was the the war room. And I didn't have a context. I didn't know it ne uh, needed money to join. And uh, I was a bit shocked shocked by it. But the next thing it offered me was the TRW. And uh, it seemed very interesting. And it is very interesting interesting to me. They teach their, 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 um, their the things that I strive for anyway. And um, <clears throat> the professors there and the environment there, it's just they are super, super inspiring inspiring and mm -hmm. it's fantastic to see these young guys making a lot of money good money with their projects mm -hmm. and selling their services and it get me going as well very, very interesting when you say it's what you strive for as well what do you mean by that well financial uh, freedom i think is that the right mm -hmm. the word yeah, I yeah, think yeah, so. Yeah, final, yeah, financial freedom. I'd like to be in a position where where my work hours are reduced and I still get by and a little bit more. I would like to teach my children children to do these things as well. They start to be in the age where they show interest interest in money and how how the money works. And it's it's very very nice to be able to transfer this information from TRW and from my own knowledge to those guys. Interesting. Right. And what campuses did you actually get into when you joined the real world? First, it was Dylan Madden's campus. Yeah. Yeah, he did had an in interest. Yes, he had an interesting way to talk about talk about these things, cl uh, client accusations and uh, and how to how to do business in uh, what he said a long lawn mowing phase <laughs> or law, uh, uh, selling selling your own services and that and I was kind of doing it already already but they uh, I didn't really have the outreach outreaching part down so mm -hmm. I was relying on my own contacts my phone just rang and I replied and took action accordingly and. Um, and I, the advice is there, there gave me a good boost in sales. In what that way? Was the first uh, one. Go as much as you're comfortable revealing for this, what kind of service do you actually offer with your business? And then, yeah, how did the real world contribute to helping that? That's mis uh, MISC services right now. Now, I, I sell my skills. Uh, I'm a professional driver. I drive taxi and i build foundations for uh, industrial buildings and the recent recent conquer for me was the warehouse warehouse shelving systems i install and design design those 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 things and um <coughs> and, uh, the way i combined these was with the help of the drw and its tips so now I don't have an have an have a boss. I I sell these sell these services as my as as, as me. Mm -hmm. And uh, and how much has that actually profited you since starting? Uh, uh, for the entire, I've been doing this for an entire year. I I managed to pile up pile up 30k and for uh, the real world is responsible for the at least the 10k from that mm -hmm. that's that and was very exciting 
in what way it is indeed but in what way did the, the very well contribute to that 10k was it because of acquiring more clients because of the client acquisition campus or something else yeah it was the client acquisition campus and um now i've expanded expanded a li little bit more i got in just interested in content creation and I, I, I came across that through AFM camp, affiliate marketing campus, campus, and I'd like to like to learn more more and build that as an income stream as well, which is not mm -hmm. not yet there. And have you gone through content creation and AI yet, or is that just something you're planning on getting into? Yeah, I've been I've been into it for a month now, a little more over a month now month now and uh it's a uh, it hasn't given me yet the financial financial uh, results but uh, i've managed to provoke interest using those those advices there and the information received so so that i my outreaching emails got more more and more replies solid then for the emails that actually got more replies uh, I'm get, as you said, you landed more clients uh, because of the client acquisition campus, which means you had more sales calls, right? I'm presuming you did the sales calls. Yes. And yeah. how did those sales calls go? How was the process there? Pardon? Can you say again? How did the sales calls go? What was the process there? Well, the process there, I, I kind of know my way around round in here and i know i know what what kind of companies will buy my services which was which was the um the warehouse uh, storage storage shelving systems and um uh, i just picked up the phone and went went <laughs> used my phone and googled googled the service pro uh, uh, the manufacturers around me got a couple of couple of clients there then i expanded neighboring uh, cities towns got a little bit more and i just i just kept going until i had enough to get by uh, within a month mm -hmm. okay and how has your average day changed since you've joined the real world how different different is it now compared to before the average what average day average day mm -hmm. well i do have a lot of lot more energy uh, it uh, the TRW kind of provoked a hunger out of me, which I lost lost ten years ago when I was left uh, left alone with my kids, kids. And uh, now that I started to started to get back into work life, work life, I've been kind of lost. But now I have interesting things to go back to when I don't have when I've completed my other jobs, and it just uh, the work days or the average days now feel like they just continue and continue in a very interesting way. Hmm. I'm presuming you won't want to go into past too much there, but I would like to ask about the fire that you say in 10 years, like how much can you go into those 10 years? What were you doing for that time when you're saying you didn't have that drive within you? Well, I was raising my kids. Uh, I had a, had a baby and a toddler there and my ex-wife wasn't helping much so the kids my boys were living living with me all the time and uh, therefore i didn't have very much time to build my career or uh, or or go go after my financial dreams or anything like mm -hmm. that so i was kind of stuck and i've mm -hmm. been stuck for for nearly a decade yeah it was four years ago i started to land more land jobs and get clients first year i made 26k and the next one 36k the third one was 46 47k and now i took a dip since i started the small business but that was a uh, that was thought for mm -hmm. new businesses take some take some time exactly. time to build up yeah but now it's you investing your time into your business something building something of your own and you know all that time you're putting into it is to build something of your own which i guess makes it more worthwhile as well right yeah yeah absolutely money is not crazy but i'm doing it for myself i get to keep my earnings <laughs> it feels fantastic yeah
Very good. What would you say was the biggest challenge you faced when you were implementing lessons from the real world? Mm, the action taking, action taking part. It's very easy, easy to say aloud, and it sounds kind of, kind of stupid that it's, uh, it's the action taking part that was really difficult for me. But I've always been kind of guy who keeps a short fuse in between what he says and what he does, you know, and. Uh, <clears throat> And uh, it's a, uh, it's the control part there. When you control your actions, when you bump in, bump into the opportunities, opportunities along the way, uh, there's there needs to be a cert certain kind of wisdom that what you take take into what brings you forward, forward, and what you can decline, decline, and uh, it kind of gave me some structure structure there that. I needed to work within my niche a little bit more, but in a sense that I still needed my side hustles to build more in income, uh, to build enough income within a month. So the balance balance part in taking action was that was the really difficult to find. But I got really really good help, really good tips in the community there, and um, now I think I'm I'm getting there little by little. Good, good, good. Okay. The, in terms of community, you're saying they helped you get the fire back because you saw people going on the same trajectory with the same mindset. Uh, anything else to add there about community? Have you gotten close with any people within community, like uh, in terms of accountability or anything else? Or yeah, is there anything to add basically for community? Hmm. Well, not the accountability part. It's a. Um, <laughs> it's more about more about getting support for the things that you do, to drive you uh, to push you forward, forward a bit more, every day, every day a little bit more, within a month. That's that's miles ahead where you were supposed to be, or where you used to be, and. That's the that's the community part. What's what's for me? It's the most positive one. And it seems you've been through quite a lot in life. So in terms of society, I know this is we're going off topic now. Uh, in terms of society, why do you think men are struggling so much? Because that's what I've seen from all these interviews I've been doing. Men have been saying how they were on the verge of seriously harming themselves and then they joined the real world and it gave them direction and purpose but again the underlying issue there is that men are lost do you have anything to add there <laughs> for why that is or if you've gone yeah. through the same i think i think social media and the way the way they teach teach kids and how they grow up they uh, the men men become flock animals and once once someone in the flock flock kind of a um, stands out looks kind of different <clears throat> every everyone around around that certain individual that looks different will slap him back down and <laughs> that's uh, that's kind of a sad sad uh, phenomenon that that tends to happen very commonly mm -hmm. and there's there's no positive forces there's there's not many positive forces around that will uh, elevate these guys mm -hmm. They just slap, slap them down. They're different. They must die. They must disappear. <laughs> and that's uh, that's uh, I think I think that's the biggest biggest one that why why people feel lost. Men men are judged by the things they do, by the the shit they earn, and uh, if they they can't strive for their dreams, if they don't feel the safe to safe to uh, go to towards their dreams and that's that's makes makes them confused and all that energy left left there just uh, standing and lying about building up and then we have other kinds of issues like mental health issues or or violence or uncontrolled violence or something like that mm -hmm. In terms of what you said about flock, 
uh, the flock, if someone stands out, then people have already killed them or put them down or everything along those lines. Was that something you experienced as well in your own life or just something that you've perceived? Well, it's it's the more it's the both of them. Yes, I've in experienced that. I've been I'm that kind of a man who doesn't really care about what people really thinks of me, and so mm-hmm. it was easy easier to go around around that. But there's very many many people out there who who takes people, other other guys seriously when they. Uh, or too seriously, I must say. It's it's great to great to find these uh, mentors or teachers, teachers and uh, listen to what they say. But but there's a, there needs to be a certain certain individuality here that you strive for your own goals and you should be, feel comfortable on on climbing climbing the steps you made. Mm-hmm. Okay. I like the answer. And where, where was your trajectory heading before you joined the real world? Uh, how, yeah, how different is it now compared to where it was heading? Uh, it was it was chaos before. Now now I would describe it as controlled chaos. It's a um, I I still need to do everything here and there pick my pick my euros wherever i might get them but but it's in it's more in control i i can kind of see that i'm going somewhere with this and i'm building something that is that is going to support me in the long run so yeah controlled chaos it was chaos before but now it's more in control interesting okay and is there anything to add on since you found out about the real world through kind of randomly it seems did you actually yes, watch very randomly Andrew Tate? yeah did you actually watch any Andrew Tate content has Andrew Tate had any kind of impact on you or was it just mainly the real world that you joined it for well I I never never watched Andrew Tate content before uh, first one I watched was was four months ago four three months ago and uh, it seems seems very interesting interesting what he's going through through in his uh, in his work life and how he how he represents himself how he represents these ideas ideas and um, that's something something I wanted to support something I wanted to uh, come and see myself and learn more about business life in general I've I never had really uh, issues with obesity or anything like that so that that part doesn't really interest me but the business side there was was that factor that drove me in here and um, it was surprised to me that that there was so many professors so many different professors i first first one first videos gave me gave me an idea that this this guy teaches everything about anything and <laughs> Or anything about everything, and uh, when once I open it, I see all these other guys, and I started to learn what they do, what they did, uh, or what they have done before in their lives, and with their business, and I found inspiration on that, and I started to strive strive to, uh, towards the same things. How different have the lessons and resources been in the real world compared to what you could have found out on the internet? They are much more more clear, and they are much more organized, organized into these uh, chewable chunks that you can follow like steps. First, you will achieve this in order to get that. Then here you will achieve a little bit more and get some more and elevate yourself a bit bit further. And uh, that's that's the the clarity there. It's it's very attractive and it's very easy to follow and it's. I could I could say it's addictive also <laughs> in a fun way. Yeah. Yeah, you get addicted to your uh, your achieving your goals. I think it's a, it's very good a uh, good thing. Man, what a toxic addiction. Learning new things, improving <laughs> your skill sets. No, yeah. should be banned. 
right? <laughs> uh, <laughs> since you're on this trajectory, where do you see your life heading in the short term, medium term, and long term? Short term, I would like to see that I'm I'm getting more and more control in into this chaos. In midterm, I'd like to see that I I'm established myself in a certain thing so that I don't have to do so much work or uh, so much. Uh, so I don't have to do the var- variety of work I'm doing now. I get to to uh, stay at the cer- certain job, whether it was content creation, editing videos, or building fa- foundations, or ma- making more making more storage shelving systems. It's uh, and of course the longer term, I'd like to see see myself running a running a business that has other employees okay very yeah. solid Sim- simple also, solid yeah, yeah <laughs> keep yeah. it simple it's, 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 it's more <laughs> yeah. Pardon? yeah yeah I, I like to keep things simple it's it's yeah. usually the simple things that that are the most successful ones yeah. <laughs> and in a way achieving success or whatever you whatever you want to define it as in a way is simple it's just Putting in the work for it. So yeah, okay. Now to wrap everything up, for people who are unsure about joining the real world because they think it could be a scam, what advice would you have to them? Go and see for yourself. If you lose fifty bucks, or if you lose fifty bucks that's that you don't afford to lose, then obviously you shouldn't shouldn't do it if you think it's a scam but if you uh, have the 50 bucks it's not not very big money go ahead and try you can cancel anytime and i'm pretty sure sure people who will try it will will stay there they find something interesting to them there's 18 or 19 now modern day wealth building methods out there available and uh, that's just just fantastic platform Mm-hmm. great so it was good to speak to you Navo. thank you for sharing your experience and um yeah i look forward to seeing how everything progresses for you and how how you continue to scale this in future as you said you laid out a simple plan but now that you're able to actually dedicate your time towards it because as you were saying for a, quite a big chunk of the last decade you were preoccupied with other things so since you have the time now to build something of your own, it will be interesting to see how it all progresses for you and potentially do a follow-up in future to see how that turned out. And that would be good. Yeah, it would be nice to talk to, talk more about this with you. But... Awesome. So until then, I wish you all the best. Yeah, thanks.